went to our favorite junk store and got a few things. Thirty-four dollars. Well, this was five bucks. A whole bunch of Irwin bits that eh, might fill in some blanks and give me a few spares. And this big box full of stuff and I don't know what it all is. But we'll look at it. The thing that caught my eye was an oak made by Hopf, Hop, Hope in Germany. A little level. What really interested me about that is I've already got one that's a twin to it. So that's pretty cool. Now we've got two different sizes of them. I don't know what all this is. I'm gonna go through some of this stuff. Just some metal brackets or something. Uh, I don't think I'll ever buy anything by the barrel, but. screwdriver, number one Robertson screwdriver, maybe even smaller, it's got a really small tip on it there. What else do we got in here? There's a carving chisel that maybe I'll find some use for. And I think there's some more of them in here. There's another one with a skew on it. smaller one that's been butchered a little bit but I think I can bring that back and another one here so this box is $28 what else I got a whole bunch of collars for stock collars for drill bits so depth stops for drill bits that's pretty cool and looks like they have never even been used. What else we got? A wee little paint scraper. That might come in handy for cleaning up stuff. Now this, I have no clue what it is. That may be clean up edge banding. Maybe. If anybody has uh, ideas on what this stuff is, just leave a comment. Yeah, a whole saw I'll probably never use. That, I have no idea what it is. Forged in USA. I can't make it all out. It's got kind of a... And something like that. No idea what it is. Tectrolite, electrolyte. Can't make it out. What else do we got in here? Something that fits on an auger. Maybe it's just an extension or something. Or an auger bit. Not sure. If I take an auger bit, it doesn't quite fit in there properly. Oh, we little cross peen hammer head. Uh, paintbrush cleaner. piece of wood that I don't know what is used for. And another one. Oh, a fence for a jigsaw or something. I have got uh, a siding tool. Do 
and vinyl sliding. Uh, a 10 foot tape. And I think that's garbage. A chunk of plastic off of something. I don't know. A piece of leather with a broken piece of something in it. screwdriver, a bunch more auger bits, and some idiot has taken the ear right off of that one side, so that one's probably no good, and the same with that one. I don't know why they would take the wing off the one side, the ground right off. Dummies. Well, those are probably garbage. Uh, some sort of other little fence. Another auger bit with oh, the ears are just about gone on it. Auger bit. Must have been a reason why they ground off the one ear. There's a bunch of them like that. It just doesn't make sense to me. But there's a bunch of them in here. Pretty consistent in grinding them off. Not all of them. A bunch of old files. What do we got? Black diamond made in Canada. A mill bastard. A square file. Another one. Oh, there's another auger bit. Triangle file, big rat tail file, that's really raspy and coarse. That one looks like it's never been used. Might be able to clean that one up. Uh, half round. What else we got in here? A Jacob's chuck. Don't know if I have any use for that. Some sort of little spoon bar made in the USA for prying and levering. What's that? Off of a drill maybe? Side handle? Needle nose pliers. Slip joint pliers. Oh, there's something I can use. Pipe cutter for plumbing. Bent key for a drill, chuck. Uh, electrical lead clip. Oh, look at that, a Coca Cola church key. A wee little caster. Toyota touch up paint. driver of some sort on one side and looks like it's oh well, it's a spanner on the other side it's got the two little nibs on there a little spanner wrench magnifying glass oh Bunch of old hacksaw blades, garbage. A cold chisel, hose clamp, basketball needle for pumping up your basketballs. Oh, those look like knives off a jointer. Don't know if I'll have use for those at all. Brackets, a razor blade holder, a blade off of a, the uh, reciprocating saw, another church key, flower sails, flower sails, yep. 
hinges. Oh, busted off punch. Looks like it's been ground down. Piece of metal rod. Spring. Junk. Screws. No idea. A wrench from a Dremel tool. No idea. Well, there's a good one. Somebody used their hex key on a socket and busted it. So, junk. Some sort of little knife. Which, actually, if I reground that, it could make a little marking knife. It might make an interesting marking knife. Uh, another reciprocating saw blade. Ooh, look at that. Roach clips. Oh, a dental pick. Might get some use out of that. I love junk shops. Some... Oh, the wool is really bad. Made in England. Angle finder thingies. Uh, protractor. No. Yeah. Protractor. Uh, some sort of pencil case with a built-in sharpener and measuring something. Multiplier pencil box. Two times eight. I don't know what it... I'll have to figure that out. Some sort of slide rule on it. Some sort of hold down thingy. Alright, you'll have to help me out with that one if anybody knows what that is. Looks like it grips and adjusts. Or something. Uh, maybe it's a booger picker for somebody with big nostrils. No idea. It's definitely got a stop on it. Another little hole saw. Now here's one and I have no clue what it is. Maybe you can help me out. It's got a little cutout on there. And it's got like a little fence. It moves back and forth. And on this side it has this little thing that Holds it closed, holds it open. And I think it's a leather working tool, or if I get a couple of pieces of paper here. You see, it'll make a little crimp in a piece of paper like that. So I'm wondering if it's not. Stapler, stapler, stapler to hold pieces of paper together. Not sure. Maybe for leather working, maybe for metal working. No, well, it doesn't hold them together, but it does put a little, a little slot in them. So if anybody knows what that is, what the reason is for the little sliding fence on there. Tell me what it is. Uh, little bits of metal something. No idea. Closet doors. Closet door hardware, you think? Same as the ones in our closet. Yeah, okay. My wife is so clever. And that's it. So, not a bad little haul for, well, 28 bucks for the tote, including the tote, and 5 bucks for some auger bits, Got some interesting little doodads there, I'll make some use out of most of them. Sorry, the battery died on the camera, but my wife figures out this thing, that's uh, flints in there. 
for a lighter, like a Zippo lighter or something. I figured out what it was. I had one of those Eureka moments and what that does is it puts a little nib in vinyl siding. So if you have to cut the nailing strip off the vinyl siding there's an edging piece that goes over it and that puts the little nips in it that hold it into the hold it into the little trim piece. I don't think I have much use for it but I'm sure I can find somebody who does. So yeah, I had one of those urethra moments. And this one, it is an extension for my brace and bit. And this controls, uh, this locks it down. So I can screw that in, it goes all the way down. And it'll lock right in there. So when you open it up, obviously, gives you enough room to put your your bit in there. Let me just get one here. That's all it is. Yeah, screwed it right out. Come on, takes forever to... There. Now I've got a really long bit. It fits in there nice and sturdy. So cool. Figuring things out. I still don't know what that one is though. It's an adjustable gripper for something. grip to that small opens up no idea so chime in if you got a clue